So, uh, you know, Rome went from a million to two million to 10,000. And then by, by the time of the Baroque, which is a period where Rome is at the center of the universe, this is the 1600s, let's say, or the, the 1500s, late 1500s, Rome is now the center of the universe. And it, 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 because, uh, because the, the, uh, the Pope is here, uh, the Renaissance is happening in Italy, in Rome and in Florence and the rest of Italy. So the greatest artists are here. Galileo is here. You see in the beginning of, of science. Um, but again, uh, politically, uh, the Pope is, is, is important and therefore he is here. Uh, the Roman city-states are relatively wealthy. We'll get back to that in a little while. Um, you know, Florence is, is, is a, a crucially important place, but Rome is really the most important city in the world. Again, at least in the Western world. And at that point, and, and I was shocked to find out, how many people do you think lived in Rome in, in this glorious period where, 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 you know, this is the period where, I don't know, Michelangelo is, is, is already finished all his work. Uh, the Vatican is, is seeing its glory days with the Sistine Chapel. Uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 and everything else that's going on, St. Peter's and, and everything else, and, and going into the Baroque with, with Bernini and, and just the beauty and the grandeur of everything that's being uh, done in Rome. How many people do you think lived in Rome during that period? Only 50,000. So I, I was pretty shocked when, when our guy told us that the other day. Only 50,000 people lived in Rome um, uh, during this, the, the Baroque, which is kind of the, the, really the, in some regards, the most glorious times of modern Rome. Today, uh, Rome has four million people. Four million people, the consequence of, of capitalism, the consequence of industrialization, the consequence of, of uh, the ability to create wealth and, and, uh, and uh, uh, grow a population and the extension of life exp extension. Uh, but and of course, Rome has never returned to its glory days of um, the uh, the Baroque. It's 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 it, it stopped being the center of the universe, basically for two main reasons. One is the the decline in the importance of the Catholic Church, the decline of the importance of the Pope uh, with the Reformation, uh, the the center of gravity politically, and the center of gravity wealth wise uh, shifted started shifting to the north uh, towards freer. Uh, uh, free countries uh, that, that experienced the, uh, the Reformation, and then uh, countries that experienced the Enlightenment. While there were a lot of Enlightenment thinkers in Italy, Italy, I think, was hurt during the Enlightenment and then the 19th century uh, from fragmentation. Italy was not unified as a country until uh, l late in the 19th century. Uh, and uh, and so it suffered from, from that fragmentation. It was a place that was constantly fought over. The Spanish, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, the, the, the French all had pieces of Italy uh, in different, uh, different periods of time. So they all uh, occupied different parts of Italy in different periods of time. Uh, but Italy also was, I think, held back by its commitment to the church, its commitment to Catholicism, its commitment to the Pope. Uh, and, um, and, it's, and, and an inquisition that was started uh, during the Baroque, which I think held back scientific inquiry. So while science was moved forward by people like Galileo and there was a real scientific community in, in Italy uh, around the Renaissance, uh, coming out of the Renaissance, science was found upon in Italy. Uh, there was an inquisition, uh, both here and in Spain, and science started thriving in the North, where it was left alone by, by the Reformation, by the Protestants, weren't that interested in, um, in science. Uh, in every respect, coming out of, let's say, starting in the, in the 17th and late 17th and into the 18th century, the, the, the focal point of art shifts north, it shifts to France, it shifts to the Netherlands, it shifts even ultimately to, to the Germanic state, Austrian-Hungarian Empire. Wealth creation shifts north, industry shifts north, and ultimately capitalism is, is, a, is a creation of northern Europe, which, which Italy only much later uh, catches up on um, and really has never caught on, never caught up. Uh, Italy still, uh, from, even from a European perspective, is, it's not a poor country. There's a lot of wealth here, 
but relative relative to the to, to northern Europe, it is it is poor. Um, so it's it, it's gone through the Roman Empire peak, a complete collapse into the Dark Ages, a rise into the Baroque period, um, uh, Renaissance and Baroque with with a high, hey, heyday of modern uh, Rome uh, suddenly in modern Italy, I'd say, and then. You know, continued wealth, continued, um, continued uh, growth of the city, continued modernization, but at a slower pace than the rest of Europe, particularly Northern Europe, where, uh, in, which, which ultimately uh, made Rome into a, a, a second tier city as compared to uh, London, Paris, Amsterdam, um, and, and ultimately the German cities. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.